This video is going to demonstrate a basic use case, an implementation of symbols. So first let's go ahead and insert a group in, onto our stage. And I'm going to set this 10 pixels from the left, right, and top. And I'm going to say that my group is going to be 100 pixels in height. And I'll change it, uh, the name of my group in the outline to say menu group. And let's just go ahead and give it a background color so that way we can differentiate it from the rest of our stage. Okay, we're going to create a menu button symbol uh, for our menu group. So let's next select our stage and insert a group. And I'm going to say that this menu button, which is going to be simple, will be 100, 100 pixels uh, in height and width. Actually, let's just go ahead and say 200 pixels in width and 100 pixels in height. All right, let's give it some color. So I'm going to go to fill and stroke and give it a dark gradient and set it angle to 35. Next, let's go ahead and insert an image component. And let's also select the group and insert a text component. Right now, the group is set to absolute. If we set this group to vertical, it's going to align all the components that are inside this group vertically. So we have our image and our text. Now, let's set these components up appropriately within this group. So let's select the image, and I'm going to set it to percent and I'm going to say let's occupy 100% width of the group and 75% in height of the group. Let's select the text. Let's also change this to percent and set it to 100% pixel, 100 in width and 25% in height. And text, let's just change to like 18. Let's go ahead and choose an image for this group just to see if this looks okay. And I'm going to go to my home icon. Even further, I'm going to click on the expand feature option. And I'm going to set padding at 10 pixels all around. So that way it looks a little bit more appropriate. Okay, I think I'm pretty satisfied with this. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this to a symbol. I'm gonna call this menu button, click OK, or enter. Now you'll see that all the components no longer are expandable or editable um, right now in our outline. But if we click on symbols, we'll see that the menu button has in fact been converted to a symbol and added to the symbols panel. If we right click on the group, we can go ahead and choose edit symbol so that way we can see the group along with the image and text components that are inside this group. Let's go ahead and exit this and let's select this group and notice that in the properties there is one symbol parameter which is symbol menu button which is the same as here. What we wanna do is Let's go ahead and make this symbol unique so that way we can have five to six different menu buttons but change the name and maybe the icon for each menu button. So how to achieve this? Let's go ahead and choose edit symbol. Go up to modify and edit properties. Drag over two strings. Double click on the string and rename this to say label and double click on this string and we'll just say URL because this is going to be the path of the image. Let's expand the group and choose image and let's bind the URL parameter to this image. And let's select the text and bind the label to our text. Let's close this and double click on the stage Now, notice how we have these unique parameters available to us now. 
So if we type in a label like home and drag over an image like this home icon, it works correctly. So let's select this menu group. Go ahead and delete this and let's start inserting it into our menu group that's on our stage. So let's go ahead and insert component symbol. Just type in menu button, hit enter, and we'll see that it now appears. Let's type in home and bring over that home icon, hit enter. Let's duplicate this. Okay, so now we have six symbols within our menu group. Well, right now this menu group is set to absolute. Let's change this to horizontal so that way everything lines horizontally, like so. Now let's go ahead and change the menu buttons to something that's more appropriate, so about. And just change this to a different icon. And let's go to a different symbol and say this is going to be contact. So as you can see here, we have one symbol and the symbol parameters that make this symbol unique. Now let's say we had this defined as our kind of symbol theme throughout our project and someone said, you know what, I don't like the gray feel, I want it to be green. Well, that's what's great about symbols. We can just edit one symbol, change the background color to something like this. Double click on the stage and it's going to apply to all of our symbols. That's a quick introduction to symbols.